remember, um, but a couple months ago I did a video on a Dremel by Furry Kid and um, they recently came out with this, which is a clippers that matches, um, which I think is really cool um, because I like it when my stuff matches. That's just a me thing, I guess. But this is also by Furry Kid and it is a clippers. So it's washable, it's got a nice blade, it apparently has less noise and low vibration, and it works for up to three hours, which if you can groom a dog in three hours, then um, you're a superhero. But um, <laughs> usually it takes me a little bit longer than that, but I'm not doing a full groom, I'm just shaving his face and feet today, so hopefully this will be enough. So um, it's got a pretty sleek box, just like the Dremel. So there it is. We're going to put that to the side for a second so that I can figure out. Um, oh, that's from when I, I, there was like a little plastic cover on here and I peeled it off um, already. So we're going to look to see what else is in the box. Okay, so we've got some guards. And it looks like this is a charger and then a little brush. Um, and it says, you know, our biggest compliment is a five-star review. If you don't like it, you can contact them. And then here's the instructions. So basically it just says, don't use anything to wipe the blade or the body other than, you know, like soap, I guess. Um, don't disassemble the product. And then it gives you like, you know, if there's problems, it tells you what to do about the problems. I'm trying to figure out like, what are you supposed to do when the blade dulls? Because like this doesn't, so these blades are not, to me, they're not normal. Um, like, if you look at the blade, it's not a normal blade. Like, this isn't one that you would buy from a pet store. So, and it looks like it just comes out by you popping it out. So, yeah, it's kind of a different interior than I'm used to. But, um, you know, we'll try it. We'll see. But it looks like the only, like, it's all pretty, pretty oiled. It looks like they oiled it. So, these are not the same as the blades I normally use. Um, and I do have my my other clippers here for comparison if we need to. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to shave Arlo's feet with it. Um, just to kind of see how it works out. Now I'm trying really hard to get it back in and I don't know how. It does come with the guide combs. I don't know if we'll use them because I'm not planning on shaving his body today, but we'll open them to see what combs it comes with. Okay, so these are, these are the combs that it comes with. Um, oh, that's kind of interesting. So they're double-sided. So here, hand me the clippers. So, what happened? You, you, it was, it was like that when you put it back in. There we go. So, it is quiet. Um, it doesn't have increasing speeds or anything, which I think for a normal pet family, that's probably fine. Um, but then it has these double-sided combs, so I don't know if you can see on the inside, it tells you which side is what length. So, like, the top one is 12 millimeters. So, you know, how do we get it to... Click it in like that. Wow, that's cool. It does kind of make a little bit of a different sound when it's got the guide comes on. 
but that's not abnormal for clippers. So it's got all the way down to three millimeters. And then I think the short of it, this, like um, when it doesn't have anything on it, let's see how long the blade is supposed to be. It does not tell you. I'm assuming it's like a 1.5. That's just on my assumption. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say how long it is without the cones on, but I'm assuming it's a 1.5 because that's what is normal. That's just kind of the standard. So, It did come charged, which I think is nice. Arlo, come. In case you guys don't know, this is my standard poodle Arlo. Um, I groom him myself. I do get him professionally groomed once a year, but um, I do the maintenance and stuff myself. So obviously um, his hair right now is not fantastic, so I'm going to groom him today. So I'm just gonna do a sanitary shave, which is just feet, face, and then the genital areas. Um, that's normal for a poodle. So let's start with this first foot. Oh, this is, I'm gonna block the camera. It seems to work fine. Um, for comparison, really quick, I am gonna grab my other clippers. So for comparison, these are my professional Andis Pro Clip groomers, um, grooming shears. They are, they were pretty expensive, you know, like I didn't spend like zero dollars or anything. These are, these are really cheap on Amazon, so I think that these are awesome for a pet family. But since I also groom um, other dogs, I have to have like a, I would say like a more like a, you know, this can't die. So it is corded because if it dies, I'm, you know, dead. Um, he made some silly faces for the camera. Yeah. So the nice thing about this guy is that you can change blades, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if they make blades for that clippers or not. Um, this is not sitting in here right. So... That's one of the reasons I got this one is because I knew I would have to change blades. Um, but I would just say that it, right now, because my blade is kind of dull, I would say that they clip almost really similar. Um, so I think that that clippers is probably perfect for like just a, somebody grooming their own dog um, at home just doing maintenance grooming. I think that it's actually really nice. Um, maybe I'll try out the guide combs in a few minutes, but I'm gonna finish shaving his, doing a sanitary trim, and I will let you guys know if anything like goes wrong, obviously. Um, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Hey guys, so obviously it's been a little bit, but I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on those uh, clippers. So it has been absolutely awesome for us. I love them. They, the nicest thing about them is that since they're chargeable, I don't have to worry about if we're gonna be anywhere near an outlet when I plan on grooming Arlo. So like, you know, if we go up to my family's cabin where there's not very many outlets and usually people are using all of them, I don't have to worry about that if I wanna go groom him. So that's been great. The other thing is, is if I wanted to groom him, like if I wanted to shave him in the bathtub, I wouldn't have to worry about that electrical cord, you know, having to go from another room or something. Um, I really thought that the blade would be a bigger problem, like the inability to change the blade would be a bigger issue. It hasn't dulled for us yet, and I use it pretty often. I shave his face and his feet and everything once a week, and I basically only use that clippers now for that. I use the other one mostly for like his whole body. So we haven't had an issue with it dulling yet, so that's great. Um, overall, I think that it's a really nice clippers for, for people who, you know, for people who have one dog or even like, you know, a couple dogs, but like 
probably not like fully professional groomers, but but people who have like those you know, just a couple dogs and need to trim them at home, that's probably the ideal situation. So hope that makes sense. I will obviously make an update video if anything changes. But as of right now, it's pretty great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out the clippers in the description down below if you want to grab them for yourself. And I will see you guys in whatever I make next. Bye.